What I'm going to share with you today will change the way you edit videos forever. If you learn and apply these tricks to your workflow, you will be able to edit videos fast. And when I say fast, I mean really, really, really fast. Okay, maybe not that fast. So guys, my PC just burned down because of how fast I edited. In all seriousness, this is a part two of the editing hack series. So if you haven't checked out the first one, click here. In today's video, I'm going to share many more tips and tricks that I left out in the first part. Using these tricks, you can edit videos even faster. And stick around till the end because I'm going to share a special tip that will help you to edit 10 times faster. Tip one is to organize your clips. I know this sounds like a very cliche and generic tip, but there's a reason why everyone mentions this. To simply put it, the more time you spend organizing the clips, the lesser time you spend while editing the clips. For my YouTube videos, I create this bin structure. Firstly, I create a bin for the clips. Secondly, I create a bin for the sound effects. Thirdly, I create a bin for the music and then for the VFX. Within the clips folder, I create subfolders named A roll, B roll, screen record and following according to your requirements. Tip number two is to create parallel timelines. And no, I'm not talking about time travel here. I'm talking about a simple trick in Premiere Pro. I usually create a sequence for cutting down the clips and I create another sequence for the final edit. Basically, what you have to do is drag the second sequence on top of the first sequence. And there you go. You have a parallel timeline. Now you can drag all the clips that you need directly onto the timeline. Every time you import a 4K video into a 1080p timeline or a 1080p video into a 4K timeline, by default, it's zoomed in or zoomed out. Instead of having to click each time set to frame size, you can simply apply this trick. Go to Edit Preferences Media, Default Media Scaling, and click set to frame size. Now you can drag and drop clips not having to resize them again and again. The next step you need to take in order to edit videos faster is to visit the link in my description and check out Motion Array because they are the sponsor of today's video. If you are a viewer of this channel, then you have probably heard about Motion Array in my previous videos. Basically, Motion Array is a marketplace where you get tons of video assets like stock footage, photos, music, and sound effects. Let me show you how you can speed up the editing process using Motion Array. Say for example, you need to create a text animation. Normally, you would have to create a text layer and a background layer and design each element separately and then keyframe each element separately. Here's how you can do it instead. Choose a motion graphics template from Motion Array, download it and use it. And that's it. The best part is all the templates and presets in Motion Array are high quality and premium. And not only Premiere Pro, but it also has assets for DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, Photoshop, etc. So it's like the perfect tool for creators like me. And for my lovely viewers, they were kind enough to offer a $50 off on the annual subscription. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description. Tip number 5. Let me tell you a little story. Once upon a time, I was editing a video and I had to trim a clip. So I did what I always did. I applied cut and left a gap between the clips because I didn't know any better. But then someone told me about ripple delete and my life changed forever. Now there are many ways to ripple delete. The first way is to cut the clip and right click and press ripple delete. The second way is to click on the empty space and press on delete on the keyboard. But that's not all. I recently learned another trick that is using the keyboard shortcut Q and my life changed forever again. Just kidding, my life is still the same, but I just can edit faster now. Let's say you applied a cut here and you want to ripple delete at this point. Just press Q and it will delete the parts before the playhead. Tip number six is to use markers. Let me show you how you can edit faster using markers. Let's say you need to edit a video to the music. In that case, you can just press play and hold M on the keyboard. Now press M with every beat or you can press it wherever you feel like the cut should be placed. Another way to use markers is to hold alt and drag the marker. This way you can label specific parts of the sequence and it helps in better organization in the timeline. Tip number 7 is to use shuttle left and shuttle right. Basically J stands for shuttle left and L stands for shuttle right. Let's say you are editing a long YouTube talking head video like this one for example and you don't have the time to go through all the 30 minutes of clay. So in that case you can just press L once and it will double the playback speed. If you press it again it will double the playback speed again. And J does the exact same thing in reverse. Trust me guys it makes editing A rolls 2 times faster or 3 times faster or 4 times faster depending on your brain capacity. <laughs> 
Tip number eight is to use colors to label clips. This is something I adopted into my workflow ever since I started making these YouTube videos. I use different colors to label my clips. So basically I keep the A-roll colors default color and I set the B-roll clips to a different color. You can choose the color according to your preference. All you have to do is right click and go to label and choose the color you want. So basically this trick helps when you have a massive timeline and you'd get confused between the type of clips. And the last and the final tip is something that I struggled for a long time and I didn't realize it. This one thing can single-handedly cut your editing time in half. I'm talking about your phone. Keep your phone away while editing. This thing is such a big distraction while editing. Ever since I started keeping my phone away, it straight away made me focus.